So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. Hey everybody, Dan Latto speaking. So let's talk to you about YouTube videos. We create a lot of videos as you can tell because you're watching this right now. Uh, This is uploaded to YouTube and Twitter and Facebook. But if you go back to my very first video, it was a video about we buy houses for cash. And I'll be honest with you, it was beyond dreadful. And it was dreadful because we had a green screen, we're trying to get all flashy, we had these colours come on, it was scripted and I walk on and go, hi. (laughs) <laughs> it was just dreadful. Uh, you, it's still out there. You can go take a look. Uh, be kind. Uh, <laughs> but this is the point, okay? That was like seven or eight years ago. I think it's probably longer, actually. I have no idea. We should take a look. But it was a long time ago, maybe 10 or 11 years ago. It was dreadful. Uh, but no one else was doing videos back then, you know? And this video was for uh, We Buy Houses for Cash type video. Do you know, we, we actually sold, uh, sorry, we actually bought a house from that video, as dreadful as it was. It, it, it was all designed about um, creating leads and it actually generated leads. And we sold, we bought a house from that. So we've made like 20 grand off this really bad video because that was the discount on the property that we got, whatever the discount was, I can't remember now. Uh, but it worked, okay? And it was dreadful. And it was all right to be dreadful 11 years ago because nobody else was doing it. Today, however, everybody's got YouTube videos. Everyone's uploading videos. You see people walking around uh, the cities just filming themselves, doing videos. It's a very popular thing to do. You have TikTok and you've got Instagram, very video orientated, uh, and people spend an awful lot of time making these amazing videos, okay? And here we are just talking, you and I, just to camera, just having a little conversation here. How on earth can you, you compete against those people and making all these amazing videos? And the answer to that is you don't. You're not meant to. You're, you're supposed to be doing is putting yourself out there so that when people find you, you're building credibility so that then when they're ready to buy, they know they want to use you because they like you or you're qualifying people out if they don't like you. That's great. If they don't like you, then they're never going to like you. So why bother even chasing them and trying to close business on them? Just let them use somebody else. But what you should be going for are people who do like you. And you're building trust and honesty and reassurance and being authentic and building credibility and all that good stuff that takes you on to growing a good business and having a good reputation in the marketplace. So when you're first starting out on your journey of creating videos, your first one's going to be bad, right? The first time you tried to ride a bike, I'm sure you fell off. The first time you tried to swim, you nearly drowned. The first time you drove a car, you stalled it. It's just normal. That's what everybody does. It's just totally normal part of the journey. But this is what happens is they do one, two or three videos, decide that they're rubbish and never do another video. And it's like, guys, you, if you're never doing videos, you're never going to get to video 100. You're never going to get to video 1000. And your videos are going to improve on a daily basis if you're producing them daily. Like right now, we're just putting a batch of videos. We've done four already. We did, I think, five or six or seven yesterday uh, so that we can schedule these out over the coming weeks. That's what you've got to do. Just get used to you and I talking to camera. I can see myself here because I've got a little um, screen. I I try not to look at it. I'm looking at the lens right now. I've got a microphone at the top. I've got my laptop here to remind me about what on earth I'm supposed to be talking about with a bunch of topics that I can go through that are close to my heart, things I want to share via video. And you just got to press record and start going. Now, obviously, on my videos, we've got an intro telling people what I'm going to talk about. We've then we've got a nice little uh, video segment, which hopefully you enjoyed. It's usually me walking on the beach and usually the areas in where we have either lived or where we've been on holiday, that kind of thing. So B-roll. And then we have this piece of content, which is the main piece of content. And then we have an outro, which again is me on the beach, walking the dog, uh, playing in the pool, whatever it happens to be. You don't need those level of production values and also the quality of this video is very good in terms of uh, the camera because this is like a £600 Canon M50. But you can do this on an iPhone 5S. That's how we used to do our videos on an iPhone 5S. Believe that or not. It's like 50 quid. So there's really no excuse for not doing them other than you're a little bit embarrassed and you need to get over that embarrassment and you get over that embarrassment by creating as many videos as you can. And you just get over it eventually. Anyway... Uh, Let me know how that goes. Let me know how your video creation journey is going. Stick it in the box down below. I'd love to hear back from you. Uh, Other than that, we'll catch up with you on the next video and we'll speak to you then. Take care. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.